Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll try and show the progress that I made with this adapter PCB printed circuit board between my RAD uh, Arduino Dewey Shield and full graphic LCD smart controller from Reprap. As we can see at the first startup, it doesn't start. I could never get it to work right. I don't know why. Maybe you guys have some ideas. Leave it in the comments. I appreciate it. But uh, after a reset button pressed, it starts fine and it works. Every function of it works. In one of my previous videos, you might have seen how it worked for me when I connected it directly to the red shield without the adapter board with a custom made ribbon kind of cable and how it behaved weirdly so I decided at this point I need to make a PCB adapter board to get it to look neat and nice the link to this project I will leave in the comments first I tried to do the toner heat transfer from a special paper that I bought and I could never get it to work for me right. It would it would either not stick to the cladboard or the paper would stick too much that I couldn't get it off the cladboard. Then I decided to try a photoresist method. I printed the inverted artwork on a clear sheet. I line I aligned them together. I stapled two of them and I inserted my clad board with the dry film photo resist attached to the board which it doesn't show in this cut between the two sheets of my artwork printed then I installed it on the aluminum plate and covered with the glass and clamped it on, on either side so that it stays flat I used this UV inspection light from automotive air conditioning inspection toolkit I moved it incrementally about one minute at each spot to get a proper exposure and first couple times it failed miserably uh, the, fir the very first time when I did that I didn't clean off enough um, of uh, unexposed uh, negative film that I had so that it stayed on the clad board and it didn't etch right later I found that I needed to do double printing of the uh, laser toner on the clear sheet to better protect the unexposed uh, photo resist so it doesn't cure at all then I had a problem with the alignment of double printed uh, artwork on the clear sheet so what you see here is the best result I could get uh, doing the PCB at home and with a slightly modified roof cutter blade I was able to trim the shape of the board and do some cleanup work on the copper conductors on the board and by the way I need to mention that when cleaning off the unexposed uh, photo resist you really really need to clean it I was using a steel brush to clean it off actually after our board took the shape that it needs to be we try and clean those uh, cured photo resist off of it as we can see the initial attempt didn't put a dent in it then we try an MEK MEK is the same thing no effect on it what's going on then I tried to mechanically just remove it sand it off which also wasn't so successful and then I realized if I sand off the uh, shiny surface of the photo resist acetone then just dissolves it fairly easy Here we can see a few spots that didn't get etched all the way through so I just need to mechanically cut it with my newly made cutter. 
It is a tedious and painful process, but it's the best I have to work with, so I just do it. It looks good enough to start drilling. This drill press I made myself like in an hour maybe total. It's really simple, I may make a video about how I made it uh, once I get the more powerful motor on it because this one doesn't really doesn't really do a good job but it's good enough for now. As we can see the alignment between the sides uh, up and down pretty good. After everything is drilled I put a little chamfer on holes on the side that they're not going to be soldered on. We'll start populating this board with VS first. The main reason for me to, for creating this board myself was the simplicity. It doesn't require a through hole conductive VS. They're not hidden under components. So everything is just minimalistic, just what it needs to work. It looks good enough for us to continue. Here you can see that I made my board out of alignment a little bit, maybe by a couple millimeters. So I'll just let it fly for now, but the next iteration of this project uh, I'll fix that in the Circuit Maker website and I'll try to make my board with a green mask on it, but that will be done on my homemade CNC machine that I'm working on right now, so stay tuned for more videos about that too. Soldering on last couple components and I will conclude the soldering session of this project. It looks good enough for me. Now we're gonna clean it with uh, alcohol and brush and now we're gonna put it on the board and test it. 